Hey, this is Alex from the Cool World's Lab at Columbia University. Now, imagine you are an extraterrestrial civilization living on another planet, and for whatever reason, you don't want anybody else to know that you're around. What are you supposed to do in a case like that? Well, if you're a technologically advanced civilization, you might think about building a cloaking device for your planet. Now, that might sound like science fiction, but as Professor David Kipping and I have shown in a brand new paper in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, Building a cloaking device for a planet is totally possible, and in fact, we humans could build a cloaking device for the Earth, right now. So the Kepler Space Telescope has been a spectacularly successful mission. Astronomers using data from the Kepler Telescope have discovered more than 1,000 planets to date, using what's called the transit method. And as you may know, the transit method works by observing small dips in the intensity of starlight as a planet passes in front of a star. So there are these little dips in the starlight. There's missing starlight, in essence, uh, whenever there is a planet passing in front of the star from our point of view. Well, if you want it to cloak a planet, if you want it to make it look like the planet is not there at all, you've got to get rid of that dip. You've got to fill in the missing starlight. And we've calculated that you could totally do this. It's absolutely feasible to fill in that missing starlight using lasers. This might sound a little counterintuitive because laser beams are very narrow when they are emitted. But if that laser beam travels across many, many light years, that beam widens significantly so that the beam width at another solar system might be on the order of tens of millions of kilometers across or more. And so any planet falling within that beam would not observe the dip in the starlight they would uh, not see our transit at all, and they would deduce uh, that there is no planet there at all. And you can do this totally feasibly with modest power requirements. How modest are we talking about? We've calculated that it would take somewhere between 30 and 230 megawatts of power at peak intensity, depending on how you want to do it. The solar array on the International Space Station gathers enough energy to get this amount of power in the course of a single year. And that's just one spacecraft using solar arrays. Now let's say instead of trying to cloak the planet, you just want to make it look like there's no atmosphere on that planet. Can you do that with this laser array? You absolutely can. An atmosphere, like the Earth, say, has many molecular components. And all of these molecules leave chemical signatures uh, in the atmosphere in the form of absorption features. So basically light comes in, these molecules absorb that light, and so there's less light on the other side. So we've calculated that you could get rid of all of these absorption features, fill in all of these dips in the starlight using this same laser array that we're talking about before. You can go even further if you want to get rid of just what are called biosignatures. Astronomers think that the overabundance of molecules like oxygen and ozone in our atmosphere would be a clear sign that there is life on the Earth. If we want to get rid of oxygen and ozone, say, you could do this with only a few hundred kilowatts of power at peak intensity. So you could make the Earth look like it's there, and it has an atmosphere all right, but it has no oxygen and no ozone. Maybe most remarkably, you could use this same laser array to broadcast your presence to other civilizations. The transit, the dip in the starlight caused when a planet passes in front of a star, has a very distinctive shape. It looks sort of like a rounded out uh, trapezoid. But you could use this same laser array to make that shape look artificial. And so another civilization out there might observe this and say, that can't be natural. Therefore, there has to be an advanced technological civilization living there. And in fact, you could even encode information in these laser beams. You may be wondering why we would want to cloak a planet in the first place. Many scientists, including the famous physicist Stephen Hawking, have suggested that it might actually be dangerous for other civilizations to know uh, that we exist. And they point to certain painful moments in our own history where two civilizations have come in contact for the first time, one civilization being slightly more technologically advanced than the other, and the more technologically advanced civilization has uh, subjugated the less a technologically advanced civilization. These are terrible moments in the history of humanity, and we certainly wouldn't want something like that to happen 
on a planetary scale. So we have to be very cautious about uh, making our presence known uh, to other civilizations and a cloaking device would be one way. If we decided that we absolutely did not want to be discovered, we could cloak our presence uh, this way. Now this may all sound like science fiction to you, uh, but the progress humanity has made, uh, technological progress humanity has made in the last hundred years, makes it clear that we absolutely do need to be thinking seriously about these kind of questions. If you're interested in the technical details, I would encourage you to check out our paper published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. And as always, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe below, and we'll see you around the galaxy.